Hi everyone, I'm Kathy Beck and welcome to the Spring 2017 edition of Buena Park Today, the city's news and activity guide. On this edition of Buena Park Today, we'll be talking about the Footsteps to Brilliance program and visiting a classroom at Whitaker Elementary. For a second story, we'll talk to the Buena Park Police Department about the HAT training program, the hiring and training team. We'll find out more about the recruitment process and who they're looking to hire. So stay tuned. Smartphones, tablets, and computers are captivating to young minds eager to learn. Now these devices are being used by Footsteps to Brilliance, an innovative early learning literacy program adopted by the Buena Park School District that can help these young learners in the classroom and away from school, at home, or wherever they are. Since the introduction of the platform in 2015, Footsteps to Brilliance is now used in 96 out of the 116 elementary classrooms with over 11,000 hours of use. We visited one first grade classroom at Whitaker Elementary School to find out how the program is going firsthand. Mrs. Ignacio, the classroom is working on the Footsteps to Brilliance app and you just demonstrated for us as well on the board. Tell us the effectiveness of this program. Well, it also, um, it leads into listening and comprehension. Um, the kids are will be trained to listen for the story as we read it together. Um, then the, it asks them questions. Um, under the surface and on the surface questions, so it really hits all different levels of depth of knowledge, DOK. So I always let them know if it's on the surface, you know, okay, class, it's DOK one question now, so think about it. Or if it's a deeper level thinking, I always say it's DOK two or three. So that way the kids know that it's deeper level. So it helps them with summarizing. Um, from last year to this year, I can tell I, there is a difference. They know how to retell a lot better. from using this app and being in class as well. Um, we're always asking the students, okay, what was the story about? Tell me what the story was about, the characters, the setting, the plot, the solution, and they're understanding it. And I really, really enjoy that with this um, Footsteps to Brilliance. And the students really enjoy it as well. Yes, they, they think it's fun, that they think they're playing games, but really, um, they're actually learning, and it's also the device. Um, they love holding something in their hands and then um, having fun and learning as well. Some of them um, go home and do it. Now, some parents may not have an iPad or a tablet, so they use their parents' phones, which I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and also, the parents can take a look at how they're doing because they have their emails and I could just send them their progress through their emails. And how has the response been from the parents? Do they like their kids being a part of the program? They love it only, they love it especially because some of the parents don't have the, aren't fluent in English. Um, so they like to read to their students and their child in Spanish. And then they learn as well because then they get to do it in English, so it's pretty fun for them. I have good feedback from the parents. Because the students only have one device to share, how has this been for the students? Um, I, I actually like it because it shows them how to be responsible. They can't be playing around. They have to be focused and take advantage of the time that they have. Um, they learn how to share. They're always, they're all more on task. And can you give us an example of a student who really is thriving on this app? There are a couple, but there is a one boy who went, oh, goes over and beyond where he knows more about the app than I do. Um, and he, he plays with it. I kind of have to ask him, oh, where did you find compound words? We just learned about compound words. And he's like, over here, Mrs. Ignacio. And I was like, oh, OK, go show it everybody else, because now everybody else wants to do compound words because we just learned compound words. And I like the fact that also the um, typing, so it's also in there because for compound words you have to know how to spell it correctly. So again, that reaches the, um, with the phonetic awareness and what the letters and the digraphs that we learn in school. So it all ties in. So I'm sitting here with Jose Santiago and Jose is gonna show us how to work the app. Can you show us, Jose? Oh, like this is where you, where you can 
see, this can tell you all about avalanches, bridges, clouds, the deserts. Wow, Lucille, so what are you working on right here? Can you show me? Uh, I'm working on this, uh, the book buddy uh, for Billy the Beaver, mm -hmm. uh, where I had to try to figure out their questions, mm -hmm. and I can go back to the book for a hit. Can you read us the question and show us the answer? What would happen if Billy didn't have teeth? I would say it would be he would not be able to build dams. <gasps> wow, correct. So what do you like about this app? Uh, it's really fun. You get to like, you get to learn a lot of things. You get to read like books about things you like. So I've been talking to Stephen and Mrs. Ignacio. Tell us a little bit about Stephen. Stephen, with this program, has improved so much. From the beginning of the year, he could not read, didn't know in many of his sounds. Um, sounds through this program. When I talked to his parents um, during parent-teacher conferences, I let them know, and they even bought him a tablet. So I said, bring it over, I will set you up. And he's been working with this with his parents. And um, now he knows how to comprehend, listen to the story. He's reading, and if he doesn't know, he push on the picture, and he can tell me what it is right away. Um, he uses his reading skills, um, reading uh, sounds that he knows sections at a time. Um, so much like with him I've seen so much growth with him using this program it's wonderful truly a success with the yes, app yes yes definitely awesome Stephen <laughs> Stephen so do you like working with your parents on this app yes do they like it too yes and how often do you guys work on the app at home uh, they, they give me some reading time mm -hmm. and and they give me some some playing time too mm -hmm. Fine. So Greg, tell us about the effectiveness of this program. Well, we're excited, one, because it engages students. And now that we have it in roughly 60 plus classrooms in uh, transitional kindergarten through grade two, uh, we're seeing spikes in reading comprehension and literacy from our measures that we use in those grades. So we believe it's uh, greatly effective. Uh, we believe kids are being better prepared as they move on to reach our goal of all students read at grade level by grade three. And uh, frankly, we see kids uh, both anecdotally and systemically that are engaged with the program, have fun using it, and the data is starting to bear out that it's showing us results. And you mentioned earlier that residents who don't have students in the schools can access the program as well. Correct. Uh, the program is designed for students zero to age nine. And so we are reaching out to the community and anyone that lives in the six zip codes uh, that encompass Buena Park can access this program for free. All they have to do is go to our Buena Park School District website. They'll see a big green banner and they'll be asked if they would like to register and they can get access to the program. And the great thing about the program is it's uh, usable on any platform, whether you've got a smartphone, a laptop, and whether it's a Google device or whether it's an Apple device or anything else. It's uh, device agnostic. So it's free, it's available, and we encourage everyone to uh, access it. And the feedback from the parents and teachers, what has it been like? Well, it's been phenomenal. One, it's uh, providing a tool for teachers and for parents that uh, their kids enjoy that they can see real benefit out of as the kids engage and learn vocabulary, acquire the English language, uh, maybe in ways that uh, you can't do without technology. So from the technology aspect, you guys are thinking way ahead. Oh, absolutely. This uh, answers uh, a number of questions for us in response to a couple of different initiatives. One, obviously, is literacy, getting all children to read by grade three at grade level, uh, but also our Classrooms Without Limits initiative to expand our programs outside of the classroom so kids can learn 24-7. This answers the mail to that. And so we're just really thrilled that on the overarching, of course, our motto in the Wayne Park School District is to improve the lives of our students and families. We believe this also intersects with those goals as well. So we're really excited to keep this program and move it forward and continue to build our population using it both outside of the classroom as well as inside of our schools. 
The Footsteps to Brilliance program in the Buena Park School District truly seems to be a success. By utilizing technology, it's helping our elementary students learn in a fun and educational way. So we are here at the Buena Park Police Department and here with me is Officer Bernal and here's, he's here to tell us more about the HAT team, the hiring and training team. Officer Bernal, can you tell us how the HAT team was created? The HAT team was created in October of 2016. Uh, the position was formed to help us uh, fill our vacancies for the surge in um, openings that we had for non-sworn positions and sworn positions. So can you tell us the difference between the non-sworn officers and sworn-in officers? The sworn uh, position police officers are for individuals who attend a police academy um, that obtain a California Post certificate and swear in as a police officer. The non-sworn positions uh, typically consist of other job duties, such as a records clerk, police cadet, parking enforcement officer, or a dispatcher. And does the department currently have positions available for non-sworn in officers? We currently have positions for both. Within the recruitment process, there's four different categories? Yes, we have a police officer recruit, which is uh, intended for applicants who have no experience in law enforcement. Um, the typical qualification for that would be a high school diploma or a GED uh, over the age of 21 and to be a U.S. citizen. Um, we also have another classification which is called Academy Enrolled. Uh, these are for individuals who are already enrolled in a police, uh, California Post Police Academy that are currently attending um, where they can apply in that section. They wouldn't apply under the police recruit position. We also have a police officer pre-service uh, category classification. These are for individuals who have graduated from the police academy on their own and that are seeking an opportunity in law enforcement. And then we have the police officer lateral classification, um, which currently right now the city of Buena Park is offering a $5,000 signing bonus for qualified laterals. Um, and those are intended for individuals who are currently working as a sworn police officer in the state of California. And earlier you mentioned that you transferred here from a different department. Is that something that you're looking for as well? Uh, yes, I'm actually a lateral uh, myself. I was working as a sworn police officer for a different agency. Um, when I came to the city of Buena Park, there were a lot of things that I was attracted to with the police department. Um, one is the opportunity to promote. Uh, the other would be the camaraderie amongst the officers. And um, the overall structure of the department itself the city of Buena Park is a great place to work. Um, there's never a dull moment. There's times where we, we could investigate a burglary report. There's times where we can be involved in a police pursuit. And there's times where we can actually be a great assistance to one of the citizens in the city of Buena Park. So a lot of room for growth and advancement here in the department. Absolutely. And if people wanted to find out more information, where can they go? They can go to our city website under the police tab. Um, there is an employment section there. Um, and they are able to fill out an actual online application at that location. And I understand that you guys have an open house coming up as well. Tell us more about that. We do. We have an open house that's on May 20th. Um, the hours are 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, if you want to come down to the police department and get a tour, uh, speak to myself uh, or my partner, Corporal uh, Katani, um, we would encourage you to actually come down to the police department at that day. And we've been to a couple of open houses, and they're actually really interesting, fun for the whole family to come and enjoy. It's a great opportunity to come in and see, you know, what law enforcement's all about. Um, it's a great event for the kids and for the adults. Um, we get to show you around the police department. Uh, the kids get to ride in a police car. Uh, they get to see our SWAT team perform uh, their duties in action. So it's, it's an overall, it's a great event, and we encourage everyone to come down. So if you're looking to apply within the Buena Park Police Department, you can contact Officer Bernal or the Buena Park Police Department. <laughs> 